So I've just had this machine dropped in and I've seen the customer a few times now, the customer's mother, and she's been going on about the drivers, the drivers, the drivers are missing. And I've just turned it on and I think I've encountered why the drivers are missing. Because right now, we're still at the Windows 11 setup screen. And I've just since done the OOBE slash bypass NRO, but without that, it was asking for a Wi-Fi network. So I suspect that when they've installed Windows on here, I'm not sure if it was a pre-built machine or if one they've assembled themselves. I'd assume it's a pre-built and they've had Windows installed and it's gotten to here about connecting up to a network. This option wasn't here and I'm assuming that they didn't connected up via Ethernet and for some weird reason, oh, I'm assuming also since it's a fresh install it may not even have the Wi-Fi drivers which would probably make sense now that I think about it if it didn't have the Wi-Fi drivers, they'd only have Ethernet if they don't have Ethernet at home how are they going to set this account up without using that particular bypass which I've just done I'm just going to continue on here and I'll see where we end up Leave a comment if you think the Wi-Fi drivers are installed or not installed. Same with the Ethernet. If being this is a, an ITX board, I'm not sure what chipset we are. But simply going that it's an Aorus ITX board, I'm assuming it's 2.5 gigahertz, which we have up here, 2.5 gig, and probably some, where we got Wi-Fi 6. That usually would be in, installed by Windows. But let's find out. Let's see if this has any drivers installed right now. Here we go, here's the reveal. Bum, bum, bum. We have Ethernet. We don't have a lot of drivers. One of them is a network controller, right there, if it focuses. Nope, we don't want to focus. There we go, now we're good. Right now we're missing a network driver and a hell of a lot of other stuff. Let's find out what processor we have. We have a 13th gen i7 with 64 gig of RAM and a Z790i Aorus Ultra. I'm curious now, what GPU is this paired with? Basic Microsoft display adapter. Drivers aren't installed. Let's magically get these drivers on and see what GPU we've got in this build. Hoo-hoo, winner. So we're a pretty decent machine. 4070 Ti. And we got the 13th gen i7, 64 gig of RAM, and all the drivers are now installed. The network, we're all good. We got Wi Fi going, we got Bluetooth, we got Ethernet. Right now we're connected up via Ethernet, but Wi Fi is also functioning. Granted, uh, lim limited Wi Fi being the antennas aren't connected, but right now this machine's right to be turned on and just simply used, which is a lot better state than what it was. So I don't know if the original manufacturer or assembler, since it already had Windows 10 installed, I'm not sure if A, it was a customer that assembled it, or B, a shop, but either way, they, didn't, they weren't able to connect up via Wi-Fi, and with Windows 10, 11's dark patterns, with the dark patterns, basically, it tries to railroad you into connecting to the internet and using a Microsoft account. The command prompt that I used bypasses that and lets you make an offline account, but being that this machine didn't really have an internet connection, basically got stuck. There was no simple way to install drivers. Granted, they've now changed that on Windows 11, where I think it's the 22, 24H2 update. You can go add Wi-Fi driver from that location. This one must have had a slightly older version that did not have that. Anyway, that's just a look at one of the jobs I was seeing today. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.